Sirkan in Turkey writes to me and he says, Hey Paul, there's an indication for minimum amplifier power or recommended power on an amplifier or a speaker. Uh, let's take the FR30 loudspeakers from PS Audio where it recommends 100 to 600 watt of amplifier power. And for this purpose, consider we have two amplifiers that are the same quality where the first one is producing 100 watts and the second one is producing 500 watts of power. What difference would I be able to hear when I would listen to the 100 watt and the 500 watt amplifiers when they're driving the FR30s? <coughs> well, that question is kind of problematic because there's a lot of supposition in there. One thing, we're supposing as in your example here, that the two amplifiers sound the same. So in that case, because you're playing, I assume, at the same volume level, you're not going to hear any difference, right? Well, the amplifiers are the same. And if you play them at the same <laughs> wattage level, they're going to sound the same. But I, I don't think that's, I don't think that's kind of what you really meant. And, and maybe I just misunderstood the question. But amplifiers all sound different. And I, I think like our 600 watt BHK 600 monoblock amplifier sounds significantly different than the 300 watt BHK amplifier. It sounds a lot better. And there's a whole bunch of reasons for it. There's bigger power supplies, there's lots more energy, the amplifier is coasting, cruising as opposed to, you know, working hard uh, or harder to get there. That, <laughs> that 300 watt amplifier doesn't work all that hard uh, to play a pair of FR30s. But I think the core of this question really is when we talk about minimum amplifier power for a particular pair of speakers, what is the difference if we go with a smaller amplifier that's, that's closer to the small side as opposed to one that goes to the bigger side? And I think the answer there is ease of presentation and headroom. So those that can afford the larger amplifier for a pair of speakers to where that amplifier is just loafing along and having a good old time, you know, sitting out by the side, smoking a cigarette, doing whatever, you're going to have a much more relaxed presentation to where the amp isn't struggling to catch up. But that is such a huge generalization, and, and that's why I, I worry about these kinds of answers to questions like this. A 100 watt killer amplifier is always going to sound better than a big 500 watt beast that, you know, like an old Crown DC 300 or something. Uh, it, it just, that's just not going to sound right. So it, it, it's really difficult to make that generalization. But that's what I'm asked to do. So in general, if you can, go for the bigger amplifier because at the end of the day, I think you'll be happier with the more relaxed presentation that it offers. Thanks for the question. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye.